Well, Soulard was the place to be today for the kickoff this, of this year's Mardi Gras fest festivities. <laughs> Maybe I was at Mardi Gras. Yeah. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm Michelle Lee. <laughs> I'm Brent Solomon. Of course, five on your side is Travis Cummings. Spent the day talking with all of the people celebrating there and, of course, the businesses who are getting a big boost. He joins us live now. Travis, what are you saying? Hey guys, if you look behind me here, honestly, this is the clearest it's been all day. It was packed down here today. And you know what? This is my first Mardi Gras season here in Soulard. And I gotta tell you, I'm liking what I'm seeing. The atmosphere, the food, the people. It's clear it's gonna be a great year. Purple, green, and yellow pounding the pavement in Soulard. Thousands making it to the finish line for the 5K run for your beads. My favorite part was the beads. <laughs> Emily Hillis and her wife Shannon Fitzpatrick made the trip from St. Charles to join the race. I mean, the course itself was pretty easy. There was a lot of people out cheering you on, handing out drinks. So it, overall, it was a really good atmosphere. It was a lot of fun. In his age division, 42-year-old St. Louis and Patrick Johnson took first place. I mean, what better way to spend the day than to start the day off with a race? Physical fitness at its finest, and then to come out here with a win. It, it Praise be to God. Couldn't get any better. The celebration to kick off Mardi Gras season 43 continued with racers and thousands of others fueling up with food for the taste of Soulard. More than two dozens of restaurants in the neighborhood giving you just that, a taste. A sesame chicken bite uh, with some dirty rice and, or uh, chili, and then we also have a cocktail. One of the oldest bars in the area with the same name, Great Grizzly Bear at Geyer and Menard couldn't wait for the rush. They had to shut down due to the pandemic. New owners took over last summer. This is our first uh, Taste of Soulard. This is our first Mardi Gras. Uh, we're a little nervous, but we're actually like having a lot of fun. Looking forward to getting people down, checking out the new Grizzly. A long-standing tradition, bringing people together. Nice to see a lot of people out here. It's a great time. You see families out here, pets out here. Everybody just comes to have a good time. And you know what, guys? I just realized my neck is really bare right now. I gotta get me some beads on, okay? All these folks over here, they have beads. All right, so listen up. You're gonna still have an opportunity to get you some food tomorrow for the Taste of Soulard. That event is going to continue, okay? And that's going to be in addition to the pet parade, the Perina pet parade, 12th and Alley, it kicks off at 1 o'clock. We're live in Soulard, Travis coming. Five on your side. All right, too fun. Thanks so much.